All right, YouTuber. So in this video, we're going to take a look at three ASRock Phantom Gaming 4 motherboards, okay? So just so happens there's a Z490, there's the B460, and the H470. In the video, we're going to try and look at all three of them, and I'm hopefully going to help you decide which one is best for you. Now, the amazing thing is how different these are in some aspects and how similar they are in others. So we'll uh, we'll try and do a side by side comparison, uh, at least with these two, without anything uh, build up on them. This one I am uh, using the crap out of it, so uh, we'll see some uh, shots of it. But uh, I'm not going to be able to put these side by side, by side. So let's uh, take a look at first the B460 and the H470, and help you determine out of those two which one is the better one. So for all these, the accessories are pretty much the same. You're going to get a driver disc, a manual, SATA 3 cables, I.O. shield, and probably at least two to three M.2 screws. As you can see, the outside packaging is pretty much the same. Looking closer at the back, you can see some differences between the three. Now, dimensionally, they are the same size. So let's look at the things that really stand out. Now this is the B460. You see we only have one video connector here. And that is uh, a big difference between this and the H470. HDMI and DisplayPort. This is in a different location. This is uh, not in the same spot but identical to the setup. This has more advanced USBs, plus it has a Type-C Charlie. This, this is the H470. Um, and the rest of this stuff is the same. Now, both of them have a decent amount of system fan headers. One thing that you'll note is this has a 2x4 for the CPU power, and the H470 has the 2x4 and an additional 1x4. Why is that when this is not a Z490? Um, I can only imagine it has to do with the ability to change the power limits. Uh, however, as we've seen in our videos, I can do that in the B460. So since you can't overclock, I'm not really sure what the uh, point is. Both of these will support the same number of Intel CPUs. All right, so B460. This has an armor-plated uh, PCI Express um, 3.0 by 16, and then it has the uh, the regular one. There has two of the smaller expansion cards. The H470 does not have uh, armor-plated for whatever reason, but it has three of the smaller expansion slots. Your B460 has one M.2. You can see where they could have put another one in. The H470 has one here and an additional one here. Your B460 has one USB 2.0 here. The H470 has two USB 2.0 connectors. This is of course for your uh, case and or um, card readers and other things like that and or uh, Wi-Fi cards. So it's always good to have two of these. And when I say Wi-Fi card, I'm talking about the expansion slot type Wi-Fi cards. All right, as we go over this area, pretty much the same stuff, same amount of SATA drives. It does, both of these have two USB 3.0, so that's a big plus. Now your H470 looks like it has a better setup for cooling. You see we have two of these here and one here and whatever this style is. All right. All right, so that's going to do it for comparing these two. Let's go look at the Z490. So really the, the biggest differences between the Z490 and the H470 and the B460 is you can overclock on this here motherboard. Now, I only have an i5-10400 in here, and we can't overclock that. But if we had a CPU that ends in a K, this would be your choice between these three motherboards. It's the only one that's really going to take advantage of that CPU. So 
Uh, hands down, if you decide that you want an i7 10700K, an i5 10600K, or an i9 10900K, or one of the variants that have K in it, you want this motherboard out of the three. All three of them have the same number of slots for DDR4 RAM. However, this one allows for uh, overclocking the RAM. The other two motherboards are limited to uh, a max of 2933, and of course, that may depend on the CPU. Z490 has only got one HDMI for video output, but it also has the advanced USBs. Z490 also has an armor-plated PCI Express slot and one additional one. And the Z490 has three of the one-inch PCI expansion cards, and you see a Wi-Fi card plugged in. A weak point to the Z490, it only has one USB 2.0. The Z490 does have uh, the Z490 does have an additional 2x4 and the uh, the one x 4 excuse me. So this will allow for extreme overclocking. The Z490 does have dual uh, CPU fan headers. All right, so obviously, if you have a processor that ends in K. Uh, from this video, hopefully you understand you need the Z490 if you were picking between these three. If you have a uh, i5-10700 or i, excuse me, i7-10700 or an i9-10900, out of these two choices, I would recommend you go with the H470 due to the additional uh, capabilities for uh, pulling out more power out of your PSU. Now, if you also desire to have more um, solid state storage, I would also recommend the H470 due to having two of these. Price wise, this was $89.99, this is $99.99, and the Z490 was $149.99, $149 which I ended up getting on sale for $129.99. Now, of course, if you desire to have USB. Um, Type C Charlie to charge your phone or transfer files from your cell phone. You will want to get this motherboard because the B460 does not have it. The Z490 does as well. Now, looking at upgradability, you're best off getting the Z490 if you plan on getting a processor uh, in the future that ends in a K. So, if right now all you can afford is an i3. 10100 and you plan on getting the i9 10900k uh, you may just want to save money in the future and buy the z490 so if you cannot afford a graphics card and uh, your monitor does not have hdmi maybe it for whatever reason might have display port uh, this may be a better aspect for you that you have two video outs where this one only has one or potentially um, what would make more sense probably is that you want to run dual monitors using one as HDMI and the other's display port this guy does not have that feature and the same deal with the Z490 it only had the one HDMI all right so out of these two I think this is worth the 10 extra bucks folks uh, I would recommend this one really uh, boils down to a bunch of things that I would use it for. One is the USB Type-C Charlie. The two M.2s are a big bonus. And the fact that I do have an i7-10700, this would work out better. This is a good budget board for ATX. has lots of room on it. Uh, and is, from what I have seen, worth $89.99. So these two, um, you know, not the best quality in the world. But uh, these are pretty good deals. That's going to do it, folks. Please, uh, please like, and thanks for checking out the video.